Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a blurry, glowing flash effect. And this was inspired by ASAP Rocky's LSD music video. So I've got a project open, and I'm going to drag a clip on the timeline that I think would work well for this effect. I'm also going to delete the, the soundtrack, and I'll add some music underneath just to help you guys visualize what this would look like in a cinematic sequence. So first, we want to create an adjustment layer to place on top of our clip. And to do this, we have to make sure we have our project media bin highlighted, and then go to File, New, Adjustment Layer, and then press OK. You should see a black square pop up in your media bin project as the adjustment layer. So you can click and drag that onto your timeline above your layer, and now we can begin adding adjustments to this. So on the Effects panel on the right-hand side, or if you don't see it under Effects, Open up your video effects and open up the blur and sharpen folder. Here you should see Gaussian blur and you can click and drag that onto the adjustment layer. After you do that, you should see it pop up in the effect controls menu and you can begin adjusting the parameters. So turn the blurriness up. The more blur you make it, the more blurry your glow will be. So this is kind of up to you. I'll do around 100. And just so you don't get that little bit of vignetting and black around the edges, I like to press repeat edge pixels so that it's a nice clean effect without a shadow. Next you want to actually set the blending mode of this entire adjustment layer to something like linear dodge, color dodge, screen, it's up to you. I like using linear dodge, however you could play around with the other ones to see if you prefer the effect that they give. So now you can see that bright intense glow and next we want to make it pulsate or flash. So to do that we're going to use keyframes and uh, opacity sliders. So let's create our first keyframe by clicking on the opacity slider keyframe diamond and let's set that to zero because we're going to start at nothing. Then you want to move a desired time length away so a couple seconds or if you want to do quick flashes whatever you want to do. I'd suggest syncopating it with the music a little bit for a more dramatic effect but once you're a little bit away then you want to turn things back up to 50 or 75 or 100, however strong you want the effect to be. And then you essentially just want to repeat this keyframe transition so you can actually click and highlight them, press Command C, and then move over and press Command V to paste them again and do that as many times as you need in order to create the pulses that will stretch across the duration of the clip length that you want. So now let's play that back and see how it looks. So you can see we've got a nice smooth transition from zero to glow to zero to glow. Now if you want even a little bit more control on how the pulses look, you can right click on your keyframe diamonds and change them from a linear transition to different types of transitions like ease in, ease out, continuous, etc. And all these have different transition ramps. So you could play around with those, whatever the pulsing effect that you want is. But that's essentially the basic techniques you need to create that glowing, dreamy, pulsed effect. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it below and check out my channel for some more Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials in a playlist. Also, definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all new future videos. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.